Hey, Scott. I went to Costco tonight and I got a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna show you what I got real quick. This is the fridge and freezer stuff and then I will come back and do the uh, non-fridge freezer stuff. First, I got three pack of uh, chicken thighs, butter. I saw this, it was pretty cheap chicken. It says flame grilled chicken breast strips. Salmon burgers, these are super cheap salmon, so I got it. It's cheaper than the fillets. My sister bought them and we had them last week, last weekend. I thought they were good. I got two of these. These are, uh, I had these before uh, last time. They're really good, uh, simple lunches. They're pretty, they were for some reason marked down very cheap, so I got two. Avocado packs. We really liked these uh, mozzarella sticks before, so I got them again. Got Oikos, zero Zero. Garlic Parm Wings, saw these on Instagram. Excited for them. And pickles. Part two, the non-refrigerated stuff. We got a bunch of tomatoes. Of course, black and white cookies. Baguettes, which I'm gonna freeze, and there's not much room left in the freezer, so I'll have to figure that out. Really liking the pure protein. I have like two left, like one of each of these. These are really good, the uh, pure protein. Which I'm realizing now, obviously, they're all gone. There's the least of them, there's six. Cheerios, and PB Fit, more protein. And that is all. Okay, quick two-day wrap-up from me. No idea what Scott vlogged yesterday, so that'll be a surprise while I'm editing. Yesterday, I did something I'd been avoiding for a while, which was going to the eye doctor, because this eye's been up bothering me a lot, especially when I wear my contacts, which is why I feel like you've been seeing me wearing my glasses a lot more than I have in the past, and it makes sense because the stigmatism in this eye changed a lot, so probably my contact doesn't fit, but they didn't have any testers in, so like I have to wait for the testers, but since she gave me a prescription, I just ordered it, so I'm hoping the order comes in faster than the testers, honestly, at this point. Today, I gave Phoebe some options of different things we could do today, and she chose looking at Halloween decorations at TJ Maxx, and she chose one thing, which I can show you. I don't know if you remember from last fall, one of Phoebe's favorite things was acorns, and therefore she chose this decorative acorn as her uh, Halloween decoration, I guess fall decoration of choice, which you know was great because it really wasn't very expensive at all. It was pretty cheap. I have a really, really bad stomach ache last night. I did not eat the right thing for dinner yesterday. I ate the leftovers from Scott and Phoebe going out while I was at the doctor and it destroyed me the entire day. So never eating Moe's again. Let's just put it that way. I lit my first leaves candle today. Um, I had finished my like current candle that was burning. I was like, you know what? Leaves always puts me in a good mood. So I lit my leaves, which sounds weird. Tomorrow my mom's gonna be here for the day. I don't really know what we have planned. Saturday we're doing, I don't know, I guess it's like a Shabbat lunch at his sister's house. And I'm making the chicken for chicken tacos. So I have to get ingredients this week for that. We go on vacation in two weeks. In two weeks we literally will be on vacation. I really, have not worked on my packing list well enough. So I really gotta get cracking on that. Okay, it is, today is, oh my brain, my brain is fried. Today is Wednesday, right, Wednesday, yes. Because tomorrow's the 24th, which means fall coffee at Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks since July. I try to do this every year where I take this like Starbucks hiatus in the preparation for the fall drinks and then the holiday drinks tomorrow morning. I'm going to Target to grab my Starbucks and do some food shopping. We got a delivery from Bath and Body Works today. Soaps were on sale last week for $2.95 each, so I grabbed seven. So I have my favorite scent, leaves, pumpkin pecan waffles, that's another one of my favorites. Sunshine and lemons, I've never had, but I usually try to get something citrusy for the kitchen. Sweater weather is another classic. Sugared maple lane, I don't think I've ever had that one before. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin I really like, and mahogany apple. So that's my new soap. I finished my packing list, finally for vacation. So I'm feeling a little less overwhelmed by that. I just I wanted to type it on my phone because for la last year I didn't type it on my phone. So I like had to rewrite it this year. So I wanna have it for that in the future. I just have to make edits and not have to type everything all over again. But going through and typing it all once was annoying. 
I use AnyList and I really like using AnyList because like Scott and I can like share. We, like we do it for grocery shopping where we'll add to the lists and everything. Um, it's just annoying because I can't like do it on the computer and I would have been able to type it so much faster on the computer. I can't believe I forgot to share my exciting mail day. I was completely surprised today. Hold on, let me go grab it. I got a package in the mail from Lottie London, which I thought was so exciting. I'm pretty sure the only product I've ever tried from Lottie London was a nail polish that I got in an Ipsy Glam bag like many, many years ago. But they sent me some makeup, which I feel like I don't get a lot of makeup PR. I feel like I normally get like a lot of shampoo, which I feel like I, I don't have the channel for hair influencing personally, but anyway. So they sent me their Ready Set Go translucent powder. I haven't tried like a brand new translucent powder in probably years. Honestly, I haven't like switched it up ever. They also sent me their Stay Matte AF setting spray, which honestly, if I could find like a really decent like drugstore dupe for a all nighter, that would be great because I really like all nighter, but it's expensive and I would love to find something that is a little cheaper, if you know what I mean. They also sent me a super fake false lash, false, why can't I say false lash? False lash effect mascara. And it looks like it has like a really thin brush, which I am interested in. I haven't heard a lot about Lottie London makeup, so I feel like I'm going in very blind on this. And then they also sent me a wing eyeliner. I guess it's just one wing for both eyes. I've never tried any kind of like wing stamp, but I'm down to try it. I think this will be a really cool thing to try out. And this is like a really exciting one. Like I am a big drugstore makeup girl. So that was right up my alley. I would love to be able to film some sort of makeup video soon. However, with vacation coming up, it's probably not gonna happen until after, mainly because I also have two videos I've already filmed that aren't edited and uploaded yet. So I probably should do that first, but I'm pretty pooped after uh, typing up a million things into a packing list and Scott's about to make us some dinner. So I'd rather just chill for a little and then maybe edit more tomorrow. I don't know. And I'm just so excited for my pumpkin coffee tomorrow. Although I'm a little concerned. I did see a post that had like pictures of the drinks and the cold brew was called pumpkin spice cold brew. I'm gonna just assume that that means the cold foam and maybe there's like, they, they changed the name, but like that pumpkin, that pumpkin foam cold brew is like, that got me through a really hard part of my pregnancy. Let's put it that way. <sighs> Today is not a day that went like it was supposed to. I just, when I tell you how excited I was for my coffee, that is not an exaggeration. I was awake at like four o'clock in the morning, like unable to sleep because I was so excited thinking about this coffee. That's probably not a normal reaction to having coffee, but like that's how much I love some of the coffees of the world. So my plan has always been for October 24th, I was gonna go first thing in the morning to Target, grab my Starbucks and then get some food shopping done. Like we've had that plan locked in for so long. Like we were right, running a tight ship this morning, making sure everything was done before I had to leave. And I got there and they were like, no, the pumpkin drinks aren't until the 29th. I don't know if that's like a Target Starbucks thing, but like I was so caught off guard that like I felt like I had to place an order and like I, I usually have an order mentally prepped and I literally couldn't remember anything except that I like vanilla lattes. So I got like a random hot vanilla latte, which I didn't really want a hot drink today and it just like, I couldn't even enjoy it because I was like so bummed out and I felt like a zombie walking through Target because I just wanted my pumpkin coffee so bad. I'm running over to Giant tomorrow morning because I can't really trust the produce and stuff at Target and I need to grab some produce and some chicken because I'm making tacos for the weekend. Anyway, there is a Starbucks in that Giant, but right now like I don't, I don't wanna rely on that and the giant that we live near, the Starbucks employees, honestly, they're not the best drink makers, to put it gently. <laughs> so I think my plan is I'm gonna food shop in the morning and everything, and I have my final dress fitting slash pickup at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So I think after I food shop, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna try to like get a couple things done, and then I'm gonna go to the drive-through Starbucks near me. I technically have like at least three Starbucks near me. No local coffee shops, like, Honestly, the other, only other options are Dunkin' and Wawa, so Starbucks it is. But I'm gonna go through the drive-thru, I'm gonna grab one there and drink it for a little before I grab my dress. It should just be trying on the dress and paying, I'm pretty sure, so it really shouldn't take that long. 
then I'll enjoy my Starbucks in the late morning. Any hoosie, the other thing that happened today that really was not pleasant was I was playing with Phoebe and like I was trying to reach something and I like really messed up my like shoulder right here and it hurt so bad. I um, I used a heating pad for a while. I took some Advil. I put a little icy hot on it at one point. It's definitely not as bad as it was like a few hours ago, but like I gotta be really careful how I sleep tonight because I do not, I do not want this you know, taking me out when I have so much to do tomorrow. And it's like the first day in like a week and a half that I've had any time to really get anything done. So otherwise, I did obviously get some stuff at the Target Dollar Spot. Did grab a couple Halloween things. I think, is this the first decor I'm buying? I don't even remember. The pumpkins I've seen so far that they have aren't like really what I wanted. I usually try to like think about the pumpkins I already have and try to find something that's like a little bit different but color wise goes with what I have. And I really liked these small Sherpa ones. They had three colors, but I really didn't feel like I needed three of them. So I wound up getting the like green and the orange. Phoebe spent like all day playing with these. They literally are Sherpa. So if you have like a, a kid, they would be safe for them to play with. I had seen all these, like they have a couple different characters. They're, uh, they stand up and everything. There definitely was a bat. I don't know, there was a couple like characters in costume and I'd seen this one on Instagram and I was hoping to find it. Um, Phoebe really likes it too. And then I've been wanting a basket, just like a small basket to put things in, like pumpkins and stuff for decoration. And I found this and I thought this is basically exactly what I was looking for. It's just a nice, simple wire basket and it also has like the pumpkin detail at top. And I know exactly where I'll be putting this. So I'm excited for that. I was like hoping to find something like that and I hadn't even like seen it like online as like something that was available. So that was exciting. Then I also got her a ghost necklace. I haven't shown her it yet. It lights up. They had ghosts and pumpkins, but I thought the ghosts looked cuter than the pumpkins. If this entire portion has seemed like all over the place, it's because somebody is refusing to sleep and giving us lots of trouble. I have like five seconds now, so I'm gonna keep talking. These two things I'll probably wait and bring on vacation, see what she thinks. I did say last year I brought her magnets and I got that one set I showed last vlog um, at the Dollar Tree, but this is similar to the one I got her last year, except this one has like woodland animals. I think I got her zoo animals last year and I saw that there is a squirrel with an acorn, so my girl loves her woodland animals, so I think that'll be fun. And then I got her her first like, I don't know what these kind of puzzles are called, but like real puzzle. Um, not just one where it, like you fit it in the empty spot, like it's an actual like puzzle. It says three plus, so I'm guessing this is a fine time to start introducing these kinds of puzzles to her. I think she's like finally just like, finally about to sleep, but oh, it's been a long day. Okay, I'm on my way to Starbucks. I think I gave myself enough time to go to Starbucks and have a little to drink before my final fitting, the bra that the person doing the alterations insists I wear is so uncomfortable. I feel like I'm ready to go out for a night on the town in this bra, but I'll definitely vlog once I get to Starbucks. Oh boy, there is a line. Happy pumpkin spice season. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even get into the line from this angle. I don't know what to do. Okay, I need to be creative somehow. I need to figure out how to get in this line. I think I need to like, <laughs> kind of do one of these, and then one of these. The line is crazy right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There are literally people who can't get in because the line is so long. I've never seen a line like this. Okay, I think we're gonna move soon. <laughs> Good morning, thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Dylan, can I have your name? Rachel? Good morning, Rachel. What can I get started for you? Can I get a grande pumpkin foam cold brew, please? All right, Rachel. Jennifer will see you up at the window for five fifty-seven. All right, thank you. There are three cars ahead of me. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Oh, here we go. I need to like pull over for a second, just because I am a little early for my other appointment. So I'm just gonna park for a sec. I'm not even turning off my car. Just giving myself one second. To enjoy this moment. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, very quickly, I got the dress. That part's done. I stopped in the Dollar Tree because I had like time in between coffee and picking up. And they had some new Halloween stuff. So I think I'm gonna pack these for vacation. 
the Little People and Barbie. They're like little sticker activity books. I figured that would be good for vacation. I got two coloring books. One's like a regular Halloween, one's a Mickey Mouse Halloween. They had a lot of stuff. I didn't get like one of everything. This is another coloring book and it also has some Halloween stickers as well. <sighs> now I am going to hopefully get my sponges and makeup brushes washed today. It's a very large goal. I don't actually know if it'll all get done, but gotta start somewhere. <laughs> I definitely didn't do much updating at all yesterday. I just got my inventory video edited, so that should already be out. I got us fresh bagels this morning. They were so good. They just went to the library in the playground. That's how I was able to finish editing that video. I'm going to heat up some coffee. I got this mug at Target two years ago, and it is still a fave. I think it's so cute, and it says, happy fall. Yesterday, I placed an Amazon order for some things that'll be good for our vacation. We leave the day after Labor Day. Uh, we did make a countdown with Phoebe so she can get ready for the beach. We had a Thrive order come in the mail. So I think I have a lot of like snack stuff ready to take with us. It's mainly like having fresh foods, like maybe I'll grab some like fruits and like fresh loaf of bread and stuff to be able to make sandwiches in. I'll grab that all like right before we leave. So we have all that stuff. I was hoping to get more done while they were gone, but the video took me a lot longer to edit than I was hoping. I don't know what we have planned the rest of the day. Last night, I we had boneless wings. I had bought some boneless wings spontaneously at the supermarket yesterday. So we had um, boneless wings and we watched the first episode of the new Ahsoka show. So good. I don't know if you guys are Star Wars fans. I feel like I need to watch some sort of like recap on the Rebels show for this Ahsoka show because it's been like years since I watched Rebels and I'm like trying to remember characters and stuff. So I definitely need to watch some sort of recap. <laughs> Gotta find that. And yeah, I probably should make her some lunch for when she gets I'm gonna home. call this a chaotic haul because I just wanted to show a couple things that I got specifically <laughs> for vacation. This by default never makes it past <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so yeah, you're sure you got pretzels. Hi, Nim. Hi. Happy birthday. Hi. Over there. What's Daddy doing over there? Um, over there. 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 Mm -hmm. okay, well, yeah, is this ASMR eating, Phoebe? She's looking <laughs> in the viewfinder. I know. I tried to explain that. Oh, well, it's the mom. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the mom. Give me your Miss Pretzels. Oh, it's a very So, a couple thing. things. <laughs> I bought another one of these for boxes. Um, they're caffeine energy bars. So they're really, really good. It equals one espresso. And I really like the cookie dough one, so I stayed with the cookie dough. Mm. Don't mess with something that works. I also got a cold brew to take with. Mm. This kind doesn't need to be refrigerated before, so it's probably really good for traveling. And I have had this one before mm. and I liked it. I don't Ooh. know if you can see anything going on. I'm gonna take these on vacation. I like these, they're similar to Pop-Tarts. I don't know if the other stuff is gonna make it to vacation, but Phoebe has been liking these dino these dynamite bars. I love the dynamite bars. bars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dynamite bars, you want to show the rest? What else do we have? Mm. Phoebe likes these, right? Bunny snacks? I love bunny snacks. Yeah, we'll probably take some bunny snacks on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> How many are there? One, two. Two boxes, right? No. <laughs> I think if... Awake, <laughs> awake. Oh, yeah, the red button means it's recording. Come here, come here. Cut. Come here, can you get... You cut, don't cut, 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 cut. Are you saying cut? Like stop recording? All right. I got um, freeze dried bananas. We could take them on vacation. Phoebe doesn't open. <laughs> I got these cheeseless crackers. Honestly, this would be really good to take on the beach because it has like the this like seal. So I might take it. Whoop 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 whoop. I got a bag of late July. Phoebe likes these. Um, 
I tried to see if they sell anything like this at the supermarket and I couldn't find it. It's the microwavable rice. Chaos. But this one has black beans in it. And it's the only way she'll eat black beans for me is this specific I'm rice. Back. You're back? Hi. Look, I got your rice with the black beans. Do you want to have that for dinner tonight? And then this is our free gift. We got a little chocolate ripple milk. Well, I'll throw that in here. Well, it has like a straw. It's like kid size. It reminds me of like a juice box. Yeah. Does she want to eat it? Drink it. Phoebe, do you want to try this chocolate milk? Bones. You have to go potty. Why don't we go potty first? Anyway, that was. That was. Okay, I have the first order of things that came in from Amazon for our trip. First, I got her a new bedtime story. I thought this would be nice for bedtime there, having a new book. She's very into Batman, and this was one we had been looking at last week, right? Bedtime for Batman, so I'll surprise. This will be like a surprise for her when we get on vacation. Like, I'm not gonna show her that we got this one. I grabbed some new chargers. I think this is, it has a combination of six foot and 10 foot. From what I recall, last year, outlet at least where I was sleeping was a little far away. So I'm gonna make sure I have a longer cord. And the one I'm using right now doesn't even work half the time. And lastly, honestly, this is potentially something Scott and I can both use if he wants. But I wanted something, I, I instead of taking a purse on vacation, I'm gonna take this. I want something to be able to keep everything in, but also be able to handle her at the same time. So I finally gave in and got one of these hip, what is it called? <laughs> Do you know what they're called? Like the crossbody thing where you like wear a fanny pack across across your chest. Well, I got it so that my hands are free, but also I can access everything. Do I look like one of the hip kids now? So it has a compartment behind, which it actually looks like, I wonder if that's the size of my phone. Oh yeah, that compartment right there is the size of my phone. That's perfect. There is like a big pouch and then like two little mesh pouches in here so this will be really nice because i could probably throw in my wallet a snack <laughs> and i can access it easily and i can carry her i just wanted something simple and they had so many colors but you know i had to get black yeah so i'm excited As you saw, Sky is making hala for today, and I have the chicken cooking in here. There's about an hour and a half left before I shred it, but I have it cooking on high for four hours, and it's just <clears throat> chicken breast, chicken broth, packet of taco seasoning, and a can of Rotel, and then I shred it, and it really makes some of the best taco meat in my very humble opinion. Before I wrapped up the vlog, I wanted to show the rest of my Amazon order for our vacation that I got. So I got this. This is called Fun Magnetic Tablet. So I'm hoping this for the car ride, but also I'm hoping this can just be like something that she uses in the car going forward too to keep her busy. So it's like you use like a, you can draw pictures and then it's magnetic and then I, from what I, yeah, from what I understand, you like use your hand to like push them back down. We'll see how she feels about that. This one is kind of similar, but also different. It's also another magnet thing. I wanted to get <laughs> things that didn't have a lot of pieces. And this one seemed to be like recommended for car rides too. This one you like take your marker and you like drop the, the, met, the metal pieces, like not metal, but magnetic pieces into like the spot and then to like undo it you just shake it this one also comes with like design ideas of different pictures they can draw i don't think she's ready for that part yet but we'll see if she likes that i got her a new water wow she really likes water wow we have two other ones and they're like honestly one of her favorite busy activities you basically fill this up with water and then they color and it fills in the picture um, the last thing i got is this erasable doodle book the first time I ever heard of this was from Jessica Braun. I think when they were planning a road trip, I don't even know when, but she mentioned this 
and it's kind of always been in the back of my mind. So it's a, a book. You open it. In this little pouch are markers that are like mess free markers. They only work in this book and she can color and stuff. And I think this damp this cloth and erase. So hopefully this is a hit. Like I said, I just kind of like got some stuff on a whim, hoping that they can be used in the long term. The only other thing I grabbed is, this isn't even gonna show it. This is a really big beach blanket, basically. We don't have one, we only have beach towels. And I really wanted something that I could just throw on the beach because I don't feel like sitting in the sand with her. And if I can like have somewhere on the ground to sit and be at her level and not necessarily be my whole butt in the sand, I'll be glad. So that's the end of that. That's the end of this vlog. Tomorrow we have a doctor's appointment, just like a wellness checkup for Phoebe. So that's where my mind is right now.